is your First Alert 5 weather with Alex O'Brien. Good evening. It's now 1018 on this Tuesday night and the good news is we no longer have any severe thunderstorm warnings in our area. Just some nice beneficial rainfall. So very strong storms that were north of I-70 earlier this evening have dove south and they've lost a lot of their energy, but they're still quite wet. So along Highway 50, if you have plans to drive that tonight, is going to be slow going because we do have pockets of heavy rainfall. You could still see some small hail with these storms, especially with this storm approaching Los Animas. I am keeping my eye on that one, uh, but overall some nice beneficial rainfall. Some of the outflow boundaries, the wind coming out of those storms has been pushed up against the mountains and sparking more thunderstorms here along I-25. So Pueblo County seeing periodic showers outside right now. Uh, southern end of El Paso County, a nice thunderstorm there, but Colorado Springs is dry this evening. So these storms were very strong just outside of our area. This tennis ball size hail fell just 10 miles east of Rush in Lincoln County. So Matt Manillo captured this photo of the hail and he was there with his storm chasing vehicle Blue Thunder. He was there so we didn't have to be. And this hail was very large up to two, two and a half inches in diameter. Uh, this evening, nice and mild, 65 degrees outside, variable winds, three miles per hour in Colorado Springs. Hey, we saw some nice lightning from our Pueblo sky cam. 71 degrees right now. The winds are still pretty strong, just outflowing from those thunderstorms along Highway 50 east of, El pa uh, east of Pueblo County. Uh, so our forecast model doing a very poor job picking up on those storms that are in place right now. Uh, looking ahead to tomorrow, we are expecting our temperatures to rise quickly. By lunchtime, we're already into the 80s. 70s in the higher terrain and then watch as some thunderstorms begin to develop in the foothills i-25 zone but the storms overall will be much more spotty in the beginning of the day tomorrow later thunderstorms develop along i-25 around seven o'clock then nocturnal storms move into the eastern plains overnight, and we still do have a chance of severe weather with those storms. But tomorrow, that chance is greatest in the northeast portion of the state. We have a marginal risk of severe weather, meaning one or two storms could be strong or severe. Today was nice and hot in the springs in Pueblo, both to 93 degrees. We saw a trace of precipitation precipitation in the springs. Now, it's going to be quite warm through the end of the week. Thursday onward in the springs, we've got 90s. Tomorrow, do watch for potential strong storms still. Pueblo, a couple thunderstorm days ahead. Hit or miss for sure. Staying nice and hot in the middle 90s for the rest of the week, heading into the weekend. For Canyon City, very isolated thunderstorm possibilities Wednesday, Thursday, but the chances there will be into the low 90s heading into the weekend, and we're going to get really dry after that. For Woodland Park, upper 70s, low 80s in place. Couple more days of thunderstorms before we dry out.